I am Hazel and welcome to my channel. It is currently the morning and I thought it was gonna be a beautiful sunny day, but it is pouring out of nowhere. I don't know why, I don't know what happened, but yeah. So anyway, today I'm doing a little get ready with me because I haven't done one in a really long time and there are some stuff that I wanna try out because I have yet to. Some stuff that I have used before that I want to try again um, because I haven't used it in a long time and just some stuff that I've been loving. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it. Let's see if I can put my hair in a cute bun. There we go, that's kind of nice. So I don't want to make it sound like too much of a tutorial but you know sometimes I can't help myself. Um, for primer, I'm going to start off with the Illamasqua Beyond Veil Skin Glowing Gel. And I recently found this at TK Maxx in like absolute perfect condition. And um, it's so cute. It comes with like a little spatula and stuff that you can slide out and open. And it's just this strange kind of jelly thing but it hydrates your face and it gives it a nice glow so I've taken a little bit of my spatula I didn't really know about this till I saw it at TK Maxx and usually when I see products there that aren't that are kind of like high-end ish um, I'm like oh my gosh I've never heard of this let me just do a quick Google and then I'll Google about it read reviews and then decide on the spot if I want to get it or not, and so that's kind of what happened. <sighs> the lighting. Can we, the lighting, can you just stop? It feels really, really nice. My face looks glowing. I would say there's like a bit of glitter in here, but it, like, it's not to the point where it's chunky or anything, so it's really nice. And I really like this little container that it comes in. It sits on like your vanity beautifully. And then next for foundation, I'm going to go in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect. Because I bought this when I was in the States and I did a haul. And I actually <laughs> filmed a get ready with me, first impressions kind of thing, with every single product that I used. But that video never really <laughs> came out. But if you still want to see it, I will definitely like upload it. Um, so yeah, I haven't really used this foundation much because I realize it is quite thick and like full coverage and stuff and I haven't been somewhere that I needed so much coverage so I kind of forgot um, how it like acted on the skin so that's why I want to test it out today so I can, you know, see if I like it. Also I'm using this Eco Tools um, sponge which I also bought. And I love it. I love it so much. It's like, I wouldn't say it's comparable to the Beauty Blender because this edge here is, is kind of weird. But the sponge itself, I really like it. And it like expands much bigger and also feels super soft. And then you know how like normal makeup sponges are really, really hard. This one is soft which is very comparable to the little beauty blender here. Weather is so weird today, it's super cloudy, but it's super sunny, and then it's raining. My foundation is done, and I really like how it looks. My face looks super dewy and radiant and glowy now, and I think it has to do with the primer, honestly. I don't remember this foundation being so like nice and healthy looking. I did remember this foundation being a bit like thick, so I'm going to do a little bit of contour today. I don't know why, but I feel like it. Um, I haven't done contour, like cream contour in a long time. So this will be fun. I'm using the NYX Wonder Stick and just putting it right here. I used to do this like basically kind of almost every day when I was back home in Singapore, which was like literally about a year ago, I would do this almost every day. Um, but the thing is that when I do, it's that's about it. Like I don't go full 
glam I just do the contour kind of like Kim K I think I was really inspired by Kim K because I think that's when like her contour sticks came out I'm using um, a Real Technique sculpting brush and just buffing that in I used to use the like a flat top kabuki brush kind of but I don't know what made me pick this brush up today so today I'm gonna go for Kind of like a bronzy, colorful look, which is kind of weird because we're starting to move in like the fall direction of deep colors and stuff, but I'm going for really bright colors. How weird. I think part of me is still clinging on to the last little bits of summer because obviously here in the UK, the sun is still coming out. It's still relatively warm i mean it can be cold but it's still warm on days like that day when i left my friend's house at night it was 11 degrees but then yesterday when i went out it was 24 so it's like what is happening next we're gonna go in with concealer i have here the rimmel wake me up concealer in soft beige Oh my god, the lighting today is really annoying me and if it's annoying you that I'm annoyed and talking about it, then just ignore, but I, I don't know, ever since I've come to the UK, I've just been so focused on the web. <laughs> just felt like everyone else here. Just every day we just talk about the weather, it's ridiculous. So, concealer's done. I'm so far really liking my base today. It's gone on really smoothly, but I still look very healthy. That's really nice. And I'm just gonna go in and bake with the Cody Air Spun. I'm gonna just go in with the edge of here. I think that's why I like this sponge because it bakes really nicely. But for blending, it's not the best because it leaves a harsh line and since we contour today let's do like a nice big here i think i had such like a strange dream last night which i think i was in line to meet and greet justin bieber i think <laughs> so we're gonna do the eyes now i'm gonna zoom you guys in closer Hello, and today I'm super excited because I'm going to be trying a new palette. Um, I have here the Bloom palette by Modus Cosmetics, and it looks so beautiful. Look at the colors. Like, it just, I mean, you could totally use this for fall. Why not, am I right? Like, it's a very spring palette, also kind of summer palette, but I would see how I could use it for fall. Um, I'm super intrigued by the placement of the eyeshadows and why this is like a giant one and this is like small fours but the colors just look so beautiful especially this yellow here and on top they have like diagrams on how you should use it and stuff so I'm super super excited to try this like I am new to the motives line I've heard about them but this is my first time actually trying something out um obviously nothing in this video is sponsored please don't i wish it was to be honest but it's not <laughs> so i'm just gonna pack on some like translucent powder so that i have like a smooth base so since there isn't a transition shade in here i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my bronzer and i'm using i'm going back old school and using the rimmel and can you see how terrible it looks and I'm gonna go in and just create like a soft little transition blend for me. I always love using bronzers for this, like when I'm lazy and whatnot, I will take a little bit of bronzer and put it in my crease and then put liner and just go. I don't even bother reaching into another eyeshadow palette. So now that's done, I'm gonna go in with I think I'm gonna go in with this shade here called Peony and I haven't swatched this palette before I'm just gonna go in straight with my eyes so I'm also using the Motives 
Cosmetics Eye Blender. It's um, a really, really soft brush. And I'm just gonna go in with that shade. I'm gonna use this and blend on my crease. That's bright. That's really bright. Oh wow. Oh wow, I like the payoff. So it went on like really nicely and this brush distributed it really nicely as well. I'm actually super surprised. I've never gone for such like a bright eye. I don't think. What? I really like this. Like, I'm actually really shocked at how much I like this. Um, okay, I'm gonna go in with a MAC 217 and just buff out the harsh edges. And then I'm gonna go in with this yellow marigold shade. I mean, they have different names here. It's called Marigold Freesia Mom Flora and Peony. Oh my god, look how pigmented that is. I'm really into it. <gasps> no. Stop. Oh my gosh. How vibrant, oh my god, I love it. I love it already. This is amazing, that's so good. I don't usually use an eye primer because basic reason, I'm just lazy. <laughs> and so when I put on eyeshadows, I can really see how they perform without the help of something. And this is impressing me. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. How amazing is that color? I don't have such a bright mustard shade in my collection. If you guys watched my B video when I did those yellow eyes, I had to um, go in with a yellow paint on my eyelids and then kind of powder it with like um, translucent powder or like this super fair yellow shade so nothing quite this like if I had this I wouldn't have to go in with yellow like actual yellow body <laughs> and I do want to um, darken up the eye look just a slight little bit so I am gonna go in with the shade Flora here. I'm just gonna take the same blending brush because it's gonna blend in with the coral anyways. And I wanna just hold it really by the end and just in circular motion, go in like that. I really like this brush actually. Like I don't think I have anything like it. And now we're going to go ahead and kick off the bake. So I'm just using a Real Techniques BO2. It's the blue squirrel line. Oh my god, I forgot what it's called. But yeah, this is like my favorite brush for under the eyes because it's just so soft. And I'm just going to take whatever excess powder from the bake and just kind of buff it into the face. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Freesia with which is this purple. And I'm going to run this along the lower lash line. Wow, this is this is interesting. I've never done like an eye like with so much color before, but I feel like I need a little bit of inner corner like shimmer so i'm just gonna go in with my highlight this is the ofra um nikki tutorials highlight in everglow and i'm gonna go in with this bright white put it in the inner corner what i'm gonna do next is i'm gonna quickly line my eyes let's go in with the maybelline hyper sharp winged eyeliner i haven't used this in a long time but it used to be my favorite and I think with this look, I do want like a dramatic wing. So I've got my liner on. So I just want to show you guys like some swatches of the palette because I think the payoff is super impressive. So this is the eyes kind of done. I'm going to do falsies, but I'm going to leave that for a moment. I'm going to put on mascara now. The Maybelline Lash Sensational. I haven't used this in 
ages and I think it would be quite nice to bring back an old favorite. Boop, boop. So while we wait for that to dry, I'm going to continue on with the rest of my face. I'm going to go in with the Rimmel bronzer and bronze on my face. Today I'm going to use the Real Techniques Rebel Edge Medium. And I recently did a whole video about this range of brushes and um actually to be honest i have been using like the large one for bronzer this one i'm gonna use this to just bronze i honestly have been loving these brushes like sometimes you know when you buy stuff to just try on review and then after you're like oh well okay it's just sitting there but i have actually been using them I'm picking them up. That's done. We're gonna go in with blush. Today I'm gonna use an old favorite again. This is the NYX blush in natural. I haven't seen this around in a while actually. I'm sure they definitely do still sell it, but you know. And then on my favorite Real Techniques cheek brush, I'm just gonna start from the outside and bring it in. So for highlight, I'm going to go back in the Ofra highlighter and instead of the white, I'm going to take this champagne one. I haven't used this in so long. I love it, but it's such a strong highlight that it kind of sits at the bottom of my drawer because I'm like, don't want to touch it in there. And just put it right here. Ooh. Oh my. Can you see that? That's like insane. You know, sometimes when you forget like your makeup products and then you use it and then you're like, oh, oh my God, I'm so impressed. <laughs> That's what's happening now. A little bit on the tip of my nose, on the bridge right here. This is like a hack for people with flat noses. This does help to like bring it slightly forward. And then now I'm going to do my brows. I'm going to go in with the NYX Micro Brow and Espresso. And I'm gonna, just going to slowly just put some strokes in here. I don't pay too much attention, to be honest. Like, I just go for it. There's no drawing. There's no nothing. And sometimes if I feel, oh, like my brows are too dark, I will go in with like a kind of a lighter brow gel. So this is the Catrice Eyebrow Filler Perfect, Perfect, blah, blah, blah. Perfecting, per Perfecting and Shaping Gel. And it is in the shade, I don't know. I think it's the darkest one. It has, it's the darkest one, but it's not that dark. Like it looks pretty like light. So I do like this. Um, to put over my brow hairs. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lashes. I don't think I've ever really done false lashes on camera before, but I shall, because I always skip it. So I'm gonna do it today. So today I'm actually gonna use the Flutter Lashes in, if I'm not wrong, it's in Ariel. That's my lashes done. It completely transforms the whole look and I'm gonna do setting spray and I feel like I should have done this before I did the lashes but I completely forgot so oh well um, this is the Urban Decay all-nighter of course I'm running out can you hear that yeah it's basically a gone <laughs> and then I'm gonna take my fan just fan myself dry. <laughs> so bougie. And then lastly for lips, I always do this last because it's my favorite part. And today I'm just gonna go in with a lip liner. This is Max Spice. And I'm gonna line my lip. Kind of shade it. And then I'm gonna go in with the gloss because I feel like it will go with this look. This is the Kiko Milano Lip Volume Pump Plumping Effect Lip Cream. 
in Tutu Rose and I just randomly bought this. There's like a clear version but I went with this kind of pinky one so that and if I use it on a normal day, it does give me like a nice little rosy sheen. So this is the final look. I am actually so happy with how it turned out. I think it looks really, really pretty. Like my base looks really nice and the foundation and the eyeshadow. Oh my goodness, I am in love with this combination eye look with the lashes and everything. It's currently like 10 a.m. and I am ready for the rest of the day. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. I'm gonna list every single product in the description box below including their prices and where you can buy it from because I know a lot of the products that I use are like sporadically from the states and from the UK and from Singapore and stuff like that so I do want to like put it all down below so you guys can get it and yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I guess that is about it. I will see you in the next video. Bye!